What's up guys, Sal here. So once a major player among the top tier smartphone makers, LG's reputation, particularly with flagship phones, has taken a hit as larger players like Samsung has overtaken it. Smaller companies like OnePlus have been able to generate more buzz, so LG needed something to jumpstart the excitement over its mobile lineup. So LG made Explorer Project where they've shown a renewed interest in playing with the different concepts. Last fall, the company launched the LG Wing, which offered two screens stacked together with the top one able to swivel out into horizontal mode. Shortly after that, they showed a short demo of a rollable smartphone at CES in January, which has a display that extends upwards to create a larger, more tablet-like screen similar to how its rollable OLED televisions work but on a smaller scale. It was said that the phone from LG could be the first such device to hit the market, marking another step in the evolution of the phone design beyond even the foldable phones that have come out over the last two years. After years of pushing the same mailbox design, the phone industry has been keen to experiment with different shapes and concepts to spark some excitement again, and LG was expected to be one of the few companies in this genre to be at the forefront of this new revolutionary technology. But turns out the rollable smartphone from LG may not happen after all. A new report from a trusted South Korean publication Yonhap News suggests that LG may scrap the rollable smartphone project. The report cites industry sources familiar with LG's operations who claims that the company has instructed its parts suppliers including Chinese display manufacturer BOE to put the rollable smartphone project on hold. The reason for this is believed to be LG leaving the smartphone business altogether. Per LG's own earnings report, the company's mobile division has run with an operating loss for the past 22 quarters. That's 22 consecutive quarters with an operating loss. Can you imagine any other business allowing a segment of their operation losing money for five and a half years without fail? That's nearly $5 billion of money over the course of five years. Interestingly though, amid the reports of them scrapping the rollable smartphone, LG has issued a statement to The Verge. The LG spokesperson said, and I quote, I can firmly deny that any such decision on future mobile products has been finalized. That doesn't sound very convincing as an analysis of the statement shows that it's not an outright denial that it won't happen at all or it has not been considered but that the decision has not been finalized. It's also hard to take LG for its words because earlier when reports of them selling their mobile business came up, their spokesperson denied any report that it was planning to exit the smartphone business. But a few days later, LG CEO sent out an internal memo to staff that the company is considering all possible measures including the sale, withdrawal and downsizing of the smartphone business. So it seems the future of LG's rollable smartphone project, much like the future of its smartphone business as a whole, seems uncertain at the moment. LG leaving the mobile business is not good for the consumers because this leaves Samsung with no mainstream Android competition and we all know how monopolies work, the customers in the end will suffer. Of course, with that being said, do let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.